Imagine this. You're in a restaurant and you have a mouth-watering meal in front of you. A sandwich with a drink, what else could you ask for? But have you ever wondered what these things are made of? Now, our world and everything in it, and everything outside of it too, is made of matter, which in turn is made of atoms, but they can take different states. States of matter. Solids, liquids, and gases. And we have all three of these right in front of us, so why don't we look into each one of these states of matter? Let's look at the solid in the situation first, which is the sandwich. Solids have a definite volume and shape, which means that their volume and shape don't change. And looking at the sandwich, we can see this clearly, as its volume doesn't change, or its amount, while its shape also doesn't change. This is because the particles in solids, or the atoms, are very tightly packed together so that they can only vibrate and nothing more. And in addition to this, the bonds in solids are also very strong so that they can't really be broken or altered unless an external force does it for them. In this case, eating the sandwich is what's going to change it. Next, let's look at the drink, which is a liquid. Now, liquids have a definite volume or amount, but they don't have a definite shape. This means that they will take the shape of whatever container they're put in. And we can see this whenever we look at the drink in our situation, where it takes the form of whatever cup it's put in. And even if we move it to a different cup, it'll fill it just fine. However, the amount of liquid itself is not what's changing here. This is because liquids, while their atoms are arranged very close, they're not as close as solids, which gives them a little bit more freedom to move around. This is why whenever you spill a liquid on, let's say, a table, the liquid will try to spread out as much as possible. It's because those particles are moving. Now, let's look at the gas in this situation. And you may be wondering, okay, we looked at the sandwich, we looked at the drink, where is the gas exactly? Well, remember, I told you you were in a restaurant, but all that air around you, all that space, even right now as you're watching this video, even right now around me, all of that is gas. Air is gas. Now, gases have no definite shape and no definite volume, meaning they will fill whatever space they're in, but they don't have a specific amount. Now, this is because gas particles are very far apart from each other, which means they're always flying around everywhere. And because of this, their bonds are also weak. However, it's because of these properties that gases also have this ability to be compressed, which is taking that wide space between these gas particles and forcefully shortening them, which means basically taking a gas and putting it into a smaller space. In conclusion, we looked at the three main states of matter through our scenario in a restaurant with a sandwich and a drink. The sandwich was the solid, with a definite volume and shape. The liquid was the drink, which had no definite shape, but a definite volume. Then, the gas was the air all around us, which had no definite shape or volume. Thanks so much for watching! See you in my next video!